Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're using the pivot by function and you want to know how to sort by rows or columns using this function. So I've got my basic pivot by report set up. And you can see that I've got two row fields and two column fields. I've also got totals for every column and I've got totals for every row. So let's go into the pivot by formula and let's play around with these row sort order and column sort order arguments. So after the function argument, we have field headers. I don't need field headers. I've already got my row totals. So I'm then on to row sort order. Now that's going to affect these headings here, these row headings. And for example, if I wanted to sort by the first set of row headings, so in this instance, that would be the region, I would have to enter a value of one in this row sort order argument because this is the first set of row headings. Now, as it is, my row headings are already sorted alphabetically in ascending order. But if I wanted them to be sorted in descending order, I'd put a minus one in this argument. If I press enter, you can see now I've got the regions in descending order alphabetically. Now, if I wanted to sort on the branch names, then you probably guessed it. You would have to put two into this argument and that has sorted A to Z in ascending order. But if I put a minus two in there, then it would sort Z to A. Now you can actually sort within a sort. So let's say I wanted to sort the regions in descending order, but branches within regions in ascending order. So how do I do that? Well, what I have to do is I have to put the values within brace brackets. So there's my open brace bracket. And I wanted the first column, the first set of row headings in descending order, comma, and then I want my second set of row headings, which is the branches. I want them in descending order. So that will be a positive number. Close the brace brackets, press enter. You can see what it's done. Descending order of region, but ascending order of branch. Now it's exactly the same for the column headings. Comma, I've already got my total, so I can skip over that argument. Col sort order. So if I wanted to sort by these categories in descending order, that's the first row or the first set of column headings. So I'd put minus one in there. And if I wanted to sort by the actual product names, I'd put a two in there. And if it's minus two, it will be Z to A. And if I put in a two, it would be A to Z. So say I wanted to sort by category in descending order, so Z to A, but within that sort order, products in ascending order, A to Z, pretty much the same as what we've done here. So what I can do is just copy the row sort order values there and paste them into the col sort order argument, press enter, and you can see that that's worked for me. So you can see how sorting by row and column headings is done. You can also sort by your total column. So that would be this column or your total row. Now, if I replace my row sort order values with a three, and then scroll over to my row totals, you can see what it's done here. It's sorted the totals in ascending order within each region. And obviously, if I wanted them in descending order, I would just put a minus three there. Now, I know this is not the third column, but it's seen as the third field within the pivot by report. So you have to get used to that idea. And I could do the same for the order of the columns. If I put a three in there, that's in the col sort order argument. What I then get is the columns sorted in ascending order of the column totals. So you can see for the cutlery products, these values are in ascending order. And then for the cookware products, they are also in ascending order. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.